Hydrofoiling, or just foiling, has set the world of sailing alight in the last decade. Plenty of prototypes and engineering ingenuity has been around since the late 1800s. Started like a lot of people in dinghies, progressed into Olympic coaching, spent a big chunk of my life Olympic coaching, uh, then 2012 ran the Olympics when it was in the UK and since then carried on primarily in events, so recently been uh, working on the AC World Series in, in Portsmouth. I, I suppose the big breakthrough for foiling was, was the early moths and then you know it becoming more mainstream with everybody watching the America's Cup. Uh, and I think since then everybody's been looking at ways of trying to make foiling more accessible for you know normal dinghy sailors or keelboat sailors so that they can have as much fun as, as those early pioneers have been having all this time. There are close similarities to the US test pilots from the 1950s, trying to break the sound barrier for the first time. Fighter flies more than a thousand miles per hour. Has sailing spawned the next generation of aviators, pushing the boundaries where no sailor has gone before? Those who have foiled talk about it as if it was an enlightened experience. There's nothing else like it, I don't think. Just as, as you lift off, that you, you're getting along, you feel, feel the water along the bottom of the hull, and all of a sudden it just lifts off and goes quiet. I, I can't describe it. It's, it's, it's magical almost. But is it sailing or flying 